Well, Laura, according to the Department of Job and Family Services, nearly 24,000 Ohioans have been told they have to repay the system because they received too much money. As consumer investigator Danielle Serino reports, they're paying a heavy price for that. I, I want to be the, you know, the honest person and say, hey, you overpaid me, but I don't want it to come back to haunt me later. Melissa Tisson was furloughed one week a month, so she filed for the week and got her $275. Four days later, she got that additional 600 from the feds as part of the CARES Act. She thought that was it for the month, but the payments kept coming. In fact, the next day, she got another check for $600. She says she tried calling to tell them. I didn't get through the system. It just kept saying we're too busy to take a call. So she mailed them the extra check. This money's not due to me. Well, since then, I've received um, more direct deposits of $600. In total, she received her first check for $275, then five more $600 checks, another for $998, which was four weeks of state benefit payments, totaling more than four grand, nearly $3,400 extra. I don't understand why they haven't, you know, tried to collect it. This woman, who didn't want to show her face, was also overpaid, but it was when she lost her job five years ago. They didn't accuse you of fraud, though, did they? Basically, they did call it fraud. And she was hit hard for it. As part of the penalty, they got back that money that was owed to them. Then they penalized me an additional $199. Even worse, since they took the money over six weeks, she couldn't get that extra $600 during that time. That's a big slap on the wrist. Everyone has the right to appeal and say why the additional wage information may or may not, you know, be accurate. And the department says non-fraud related overpayments are less than 4% of total benefits paid. Danielle Serino, 3 News.